Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be finishing this stair makeover. In last week's video, we removed the carpet, cut off the nosing of the treads, and made our own risers for the stairs and installed those. And in today's video, we are going to be finally installing the treads and just doing all the finishing touches to finally complete this stairway project. So let's go ahead and get started. I need to trim the stair treads. So this is the width of it. They come right here and it hangs over just a little too far. So I'm gonna trim them down on my table saw. This is going to be the new width of the tread. So it's going to hang out that far. Also, I forgot to mention, I got the stair treads. That's them behind me there. I got them about 48 hours ago. I've been letting them sit in the house so they can acclimate to this temperature just in case they need to expand or contract before I cut them because I really want to get a really good fit on the stairs. Okay, I ripped all the stair treads down and now I'm starting to cut the treads and I just got one done and it looks so good. I love that little tool that I showed you guys earlier because look how good the sides look for that angle. That's like not even caulked or anything. So for the back, it's definitely not straight. I think I'm gonna have to put a little trim piece right here, but the sides look how good. In case you missed last week's video, this is a tool that I ordered off of Amazon. It comes with these two little metal parts and I just took a scrap one by two that I had that would make it the correct width for my stairs and they are adjustable, the little metal pieces to the angle that you need and you just tighten them up with the little black knobs and then you transfer that onto your wood or whatever you're cutting to get a really tight fit. All right, the treads are all sanded and ready to stain. I'm gonna talk about these for a second. So these are red oak. They're the same material I used for the handrail. I was going to try to save some money and use this pine tread right here, but you can see all the stains that I tested and they just, I couldn't match it. I wasn't happy with it. it everything looked really blotchy on it. So I decided that it was probably better to get this hardwood for the stairs anyway. So I'm going to be using the same stains that I had on the handrail, which is the classic gray and the weathered oak mixed together for the first layer. And then I'm going to be going in with um, Minwax Simply White over the top of it. I wanna take a quick break to tell you guys about today's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. So basically any specific skill that you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. 
from photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing. You can find classes that'll match your personal goals and interests. A lot of you guys have told me that you're wanting to learn about tools and woodworking, and there are so many beginner classes available on Skillshare that can really help you get started with that. I am much more comfortable demoing and building in one area that I'm always trying to improve is interior design. And I was watching Anka Elena's interior design basics class and I was feeling super inspired and really wanting to get started designing some of the makeovers that I've got coming up on my channel. And I used one of her tips, which was to create a mood board and it really helped me to nail down the look that I was going for. With thousands of online classes and more added every single week, there really is something for everybody on Skillshare. The first thousand people to use the link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and now back to the stairs. Now that the treads have the first coat of stain on them, I'm gonna go in with this Simply White by Minwax over the top, but for some reason it was going on much more opaque over these treads than it was on the banister. So I just took some mineral spirits on a cloth that I had and I was able to take some of that white off. It removes it. So if you apply too much stain, it'll take some of it off. If you use the mineral spirits, it also cleans your brushes after you're done using them if you stain with a brush. Okay, I feel like I'm going crazy. Do you guys remember the white paint debacle? Someone send help. I have officially lost my mind. All I can see is white. Do we like this color or this color better? Guess what? They're the same color. So we have another sample now. We'll see if this one works. I may just keep buying paint for the rest of my life. We'll see. If you've been around that long, if you've been here since the beginning of me trying to figure out a white paint, comment down below and let me know. But this, this is worse. I have stained all of these stair treads four times. I did what I initially said I was gonna do, which was the combo of two stains plus the Simply White on top, and it turned out pink. So I was like, okay, I need to add some more golden oak to it. So I added golden oak and then the Simply White, and they're just not what I want. So I am crazy and I'm about to stain these for the fifth time. I have an idea. See this, how this is a little bit warmer than that? This matches the floors better. So I'm gonna go over them one more time with another stain. And that's gonna be it, I swear. I don't care, if they come out pink, they're going in pink, I'll start a trend, whatever. I'm not staining these stair treads one more time. No, no. Okay, the fifth coat of stain is dry. It's the moment of truth to see if it matches better. A 
before we can go in with our sealer, I'm gonna use this tack cloth. It's really sticky and I'm gonna use it to rub on top of the treads and it's gonna get any particles, any dust off of them so that doesn't get stuck in our sealer. It's time to seal the stair treads. And to do that, I'm gonna use this wipe-on polyurethane in a satin finish. Now, the reviews online say that it's not as strong as a regular polyurethane, but the reason that I wanna go with the wipe-on is one, the dry time is faster, and two, it does not leave brush marks like a regular polyurethane can. So I wanna try a few coats of this, live with the stairs for a while, and if I see that they're like getting scratched or wearing down, I can always go back in with a regular polyurethane. When and I have more time to wait for the treads to dry. After I was done with the third coat on the treads, I decided to go ahead and use that same wipe on poly to add a coat to this handrail. I never did seal it whenever I installed it. And so in order just to protect it and keep it looking nice and new, I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat on that. Also, it'll match the sheen that's on the treads. Today is the day we are finishing this project. The treads are all cured and they are ready to go in. We've got all of our treads right here. We're going to be attaching these with construction adhesive, liquid nails, and brad nails. So we've got our compressor up there, we've got our liquid nails, and we're gonna start from the top and work our way down. Look how good they're looking. I'm so happy with them. Now, I was thinking I definitely have to put trim like over this, but I'm wondering, I really like the way it looks without the trim. I like how 
clean it is. So I'm wondering if I can just caulk it. I'm gonna give that a try. And if it, if it looks bad, then I can come back in with the trim. I think the caulking is going to work. This is no caulk. These are the worst steps too, these first few. And so this is no caulk. And then this is one layer. Now it needs another one, but I think that looks pretty good. We might get away with not doing any trim. Okay, that caulking is looking great. Now I just wanna address like under the stairs, I wanna caulk right under there where the riser meets the tread because it's gonna look so much better that way. We are in the home stretch. We are almost done. I just have to do these finishing touches to make it look professional. If I don't do that, it's gonna look super amateur and so, even though the building is done, all of the finishing work is what really elevates a project. After weeks and weeks, of working on this, these stairs, they are finally done. Before I show you guys, let's take a look and remember what they used to look like. This is the end of this video and the end of this project. I am so excited to be done with this project and I'm so happy with how the stairs came out. Make sure that you're subscribed because we still have an entire upstairs to do, so many more projects so you don't want to miss them. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!